In sub-Saharan Africa, over 100 million children are missing out on education. That's more than anywhere else in the world. The UN is warning those numbers will rise in the next five years. Part of the problem is a shortage of classrooms, but a 22-year-old thinks 3D printing could help fix this. The BBC was given exclusive access to the first 3D printed school in Madagascar, only the second in the world. Joanne Wally has this report. It's moving the first layer. So exciting. I can't believe it. This is Maggie, a 22 year old American who set up her own NGO when she was a teenager. Her idea is to use 3D technology to improve access to education, starting in Madagascar. I was adopted from China when I was about 18 months old. I was from a poor village, so I really relate to the Malagasy people and a lot of the villages here. And if you have access to school, I think a lot more opportunities arise from that. One in five primary school aged children are not getting an education in Madagascar. Part of the problem is that classrooms are overcrowded and some pupils have to travel long distances to reach a school. I first heard of 3D printing about seven years ago and I thought we could use this technology to build schools faster. Her first project is here at university in Fianaransua in central Madagascar. The next 3D printed schools will be for children. The team printed a school in Malawi last year and says their process uses 60% less material than normal. That printed is fed from the pump that you have here and the water that you have here and the mix, uh, the cement mix, the ink that you have here. When we start printing, it's going to be extremely quick to build those walls. Up. A third of the wall has been printed now. <laughs> Welcome to our school. Total print time was about 18 hours. And then for the carbon emissions, it reduced it by up to 50%. And mainly the waste reduction comes with the walls. The 3D printer and technicians are expensive, and this school cost $300,000. But the cost will come down as more are built. 30 undergraduate students will be able to study in the school. The UN says some African countries will have 20% more school-aged children in the next five years as populations rise. Technology could help ease some of that pressure on school infrastructure. We are very interested to see what lessons there are from applications of uh, 3D technology. It's very important for governments to be prepared, to be aware of the costs, to uh, know how they can deploy such technology to uh, catch up and say leapfrog some of the challenges that they currently face. Joanne Worley, BBC World News.